I'm Mona Watavano. And so in Tudor, we are working on together on, for quite a while already. So we are glad to, to be here and try to work on this uh, intervention. It's the third or the fourth time that we are working on this, and first, first it was done in Warsaw. This uh, story of the Miss van der Rohe house constructed mm -hmm. in somewhere in uh, western Poland, I, as on I remember. On the border, yeah. yeah. on the border, in somewhere in Silesia, I think. Our interest was triggered by the fact that the house was partially, mostly destroyed in, in during the Second World War, and there was this story that uh, sometime after the, the war, um, the locals used materials from that house, the bricks of that house, to reconstruct other palaces like this Baroque heritage, which is in Poland. So for us, this was meaningful enough to try to work on, on that reference. And there was a recent reference in this 9-11 event which uh, triggered our interest in the dust, uh, concrete dust as material. We would try to do with this dust square in a way a, a more simple metaphor of these uh, stories and processes which happen in time, in, in, in different communities, I mean, like affected by war or not. And we decided to work with the specific dust from the concrete, in a way, because it's, it has a very political meaning for us. It expresses power whenever it is the result of a destruction or, of, or the result of a construction or a reconstruction. This is uh, how, somehow how we came with this solution. We try to do it in a, in a simple way, in a way that also reflects uh, work, in, in a way that uh, someone does in construction anyway. We don't try to control, in a way, the, the way that uh, someone experienced the work. Uh, it, we keep it open, so even all these explanations, in the end, they don't have much sense. They give a background of what we had in our mind when we did it. But in the end, if, if the work is quite simple and in a way not so much illustrative for us, it's fine. It shouldn't be very explanatory.